Ruben Fleischer, I think he's standing in the hallway. Let's get him in here. Yeah. The Been waiting for him all day. of Gangster Squad opens up tomorrow night. Very exciting. There he Yay. is. Oh, my leg's stuck. I'm going to cramp. Oh, sorry. This doesn't normally happen. I was going to stand up. But... Ruben, how you doing, Hi, man? Ruben Fleischer. Morning, morning. It's good to see you. Are you familiar with the Heidi and Frank show at of all? Of course. Really? Yeah, of course. Can you believe we got this job? <laughs> I mean, You're seriously. Been bouncing dude. around. I know. He's, he's like, <laughs> I know. He's like, how did you guys? <laughs> Twitter's blowing up because we, we said that we were going to have you in and people love you. They're like, oh, oh my awesome. God. So hopefully, if you want to talk to, to, to Ruben Fleischer about Zombie Land or Gangster Squad or whatever, big Zombie Land fan. You've done, like, awesome. I mean, as far as like doing uh, documentaries and then television and then, and now, you know, feature films, is this like, is that the normal stepping stone for a director where it's like now you'll you'll probably never go back to doing anything in television <laughs> or never going back? No, I'm actually I'm working on TV now, but I, I started out in music videos and commercials like a lot of directors do and then kind of gradually it took about 10 years from the first time I did my first short to getting a chance to do a feature. But um, yeah, it's good to mix it up, I think. It's good to do a little bit of everything and whether it's a feature, TV or uh, whatever else, it's all fun. Because, yeah, there's this uh, this family that I know that it that would be great to put cameras in their house and follow them around. Right. Where it's like yeah, all these animals and stuff. It'd be awesome. Right. I know you, you've done like stuff like that before, like with uh, what Robin Big. Yeah, Robin Big. Uh, that came out of a documentary. I met those two guys. And, uh, yeah, reality. Uh, it was an early like reality it comedy was. show. Yeah. It was great, too. Yeah, I love those guys. Like They're just fun to watch, that kind of odd couple buddy relationship. And Rob truly is as funny as any comedian on in any movie. Like Rob's one of the funniest people I've ever met. And uh, Big Black, he was actually he came out to my backyard and we did the show in my garage. He no, was, yeah, he was actually <laughs> at my backyard. That's awesome. My neighbors were like, "Is that Big Black?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you believe it is yeah. my backyard. Right. So uh, getting back to this this movie you got got coming out tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow's a big day, Gangster Billboard. Squad. Are yeah. you like getting ready to vomit? I mean, it's coming out tomorrow. <laughs> I mean, look at this. I mean, the, the cast alone is just incredible, and uh, the the trailer looks awesome. I mean, you got Sean Penn, Ryan Gosling, Nick Nolte, Emma Stone, Josh Brolin. I mean, it, yeah, it's a dream come true. I, I it's a really really fun movie. It's a uh, kind of classic L.A. gangster movie. It's got a ton of action. Sean Penn's amazing as the villain Mickey Cohen, and it's uh, just a really fun movie. Yeah, Los Angeles, 1949, drugs, guns, prostitution, I'm there. Well, that sounds like <laughs> Frank Kramer's neighborhood did circa 2013. <laughs> exactly. Bring all that really, back. Really no different. Who did you get interested in the movie first? Like, who do you build it around? Well, for me, it was with Sean Penn. Um, you know, I think the key to a good gangster movie is that you have a great gangster. And right. Sean plays Mickey Cohen, who was a real-life gangster here in Los Angeles. And Sean's just one of the most intense menacing scary actors out there but uh in this movie there's a lot of humor to him as well which is really cool you kind of just love to hate mickey cohen in this movie and the second you you hear oh sean penn is attached and it's like oh yeah i'll do it I'll, yeah, yeah i think I'll, he had I'll, a lot to do with the rest of the cast getting involved just uh you know i think he kind of made it a bona fide film stamp of approval type thing so uh, what was that other movie where uh where sean penn was uh, r trying to run the city and josh brolin was after him uh, milk, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're very parallel. Yeah, there's similar stories, lots of similar themes. Yeah, yeah. I was like, this is like a remake of that. Yeah, basically. it's a sequel. I like to think of it as a sequel. Yeah. That, yeah. Milk. Yeah. I know. You recently got married, eh? Yeah, just uh, November tenth. <laughs> why would you do that? No, he's like, I mean, so jaded. Why? Uh, I you, guess when you know, you know. See, that's what I said. <laughs> How long you been uh, going out with this woman? Uh, about two and a half, three years. Now we were talking. We were talking before the break about. I had a story in the news about a guy who you know got in his fight with his girlfriend. I never told you what what he did to her. He, he was this white guy with these long dreadlocks, and they got into a fight, and he decided to take his dreadlocks and wrap them around her neck. So she obviously he got <laughs> charged with assault. Very bizarre. Do you and your new bride fight? We have a lot of dreadlock fights. Yeah. A lot of dreadlock fights. Yeah. I have, you can't see me, it's radio, but I have very right. long dreadlocks. This, so. is just a, this is a wig, just so yeah. that you look clean. Kind of like a big Hollywood director. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like yeah, when they fight, they put on their dreadlock wigs, and then they forget, they forget what they were arguing they about. They start laughing. It's, it's, it's kind of gets settled do that you way. Have, do you get in arguments? Uh, no, we're actually really well balanced, like uh, with one another. We c tend to just like uh, figure it out. See, that's how I am with with my partner. And Frank says that it's because we don't have any love. 
there's just no love there. So He's it's like, you boring. need fighting. You need excitement, <laughs> man. And ex- yeah, Are or you, you have any passion. No, when uh, when I uh, was married, you know, and we went on that uh, that trip after you get married. Mm-hmm. Honeymoon. Yeah. The honeymoon. Yeah, yeah. We went to uh, Spain. On the honeymoon, she like freaked out and wanted to leave. I mean, she was. I had to like stand in front of the door and be like, "We're in Spain. Where are you going?" Looking like, back, she's like, probably realizing like, she, she should have. She instantly yeah. realized that like what sounds like you picked the right one. Oh, she was a mute. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, three years marriage with her. So, yeah. well, but we dated for like six months and then we were engaged for a year. So you've had three years with this woman. So that's yeah, no, pretty right. good. yeah, we well, get along really well. I'm a lucky guy. See, Frank, that's how you do it. <laughs> well, I'm rooting for you, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> Fingers crossed. If yours fails, I mean, all hope for couples in Hollywood is over. Yeah, it's done. It's just absolutely yeah. done. I saw in the news that on New Year's Eve, Josh Brolin got into a little trouble. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, what was the charge? I haven't talked to him about it, but uh, the was, word on the street is uh, that he might have had one too many that night. Was he actually charged with something? Uh, no, I don't think so. Not, Not from what I read. I, 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 like Brolin. I said, I haven't talked to him. But no, I mean, he even get stopped. If I see Josh Brolin, you know, having you know fun on New Year's Eve, and I'm a cop, I, I wouldn't, even, I wouldn't ever whip out my ticket book. No, you high five him. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Just he's like he's uh, one of my favorites. Yeah, he's like, this whole cast of yours in this movie Gangster Squad opens up tomorrow. We have uh, Ruben Fleischer here with us. He's the director. Uh, yeah, and Josh is as good as he's ever been. I mean, he's he's so good as like a hard boiled kind of classic film noir cop. Like to me, Josh looks like he stepped off the screen of a 1940s movie. He he's is just, that guy though that transforms yeah. himself. Like when he was in uh, W W, right? Yeah, I mean he he just transforms himself. You really believe that he's that guy, which obviously is a sign of a good a great actor. Yeah, he's pretty amazing. Ryan Gosling. I mean, he's he's so charismatic and fun to watch and and it was really nice to rekindle that spark with him and Emma in this movie. I mean, I think a lot of people love them in Crazy Stupid Love and so it's really nice mm-hmm. to repair them in this movie. And Emma was in uh, Zombieland as well, right? Yeah, Emma was in my first movie and uh, I think that was her first starring role and we've been pals ever since so I was really excited to get to work with her again on this film. When you, when you put out Zombieland, was that before or right after when zombies became like the coolest thing ever. <laughs> was this, I mean, that was before I think, I think we might have been caught up in a, a, a wave of the zeitgeist. Like it was just perfect timing. Yeah. Like Shaun of the Dead had come. Okay, yeah. And uh, we kind of were the American, uh, you know, fall through on that, that wave or whatever. Now, was Gangster Squad a movie that was in your head for a long time that you wanted to do? Like how nah, many I mean, I'm not a writer, so it's kind of like I get sent scripts, and that was just one that I just read and so fell that's in from love the with. time you read Gangster Squad till you know tomorrow. What's that? T- you know, that was probably time? about um, two years. Two I would years. Say. Um, we started shooting a year ago in September. So I, yeah, we finished shooting pretty much uh, December of last year. So it's been a year, and you know our original release date was in September. We had to push back because we had a scene that uh, eerily kind of resembled the tragedy in Aurora. So oh. we had to take that scene out and reshoot another one. So we've had some twists and turns along the way, but uh, I'm so excited that it's finally being released in theaters. It's your baby. Yeah. Being born tomorrow. So, yeah. so the scene wasn't needed, or you're like, I mean, I mean no, it's an ambush scene uh, where, uh, you know, the gangster kind of turns the tables on the cops, and so um, what we did is we just came up with a new idea for an ambush, okay. restaged it in Chinatown, and uh, it actually works even better than the original. Well, congratulations, Thank man. you. Yeah, people are excited, excited about it. Yeah, yeah it's, All your a, it's a really, really fun movie, and, uh, you know, you can't beat the cast, so I'm really excited. Are you working on, uh, what are you working on now? I mean, this has been, was the, well, how was the rap party for this thing? I mean, <laughs> they all show up. It was a late I mean, night, yeah. Are, are they, like, super partiers? I mean, yeah, obviously no, Josh I mean, Brolin likes yeah. to toss back a few. Sean Penn, however, does not. Not anymore? <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I was like, yeah, I can't I imagine. Like, Sean Penn quit he's, drinking? He's having tea. Yeah, like, yeah, no, quietly sitting in the corner. What was the, what was the round of shots? I mean, it's like, <laughs> we're going to get around, round of what? And so, what would they say? What was it? Was it bourbon? Was Take it, your pick, man. Yeah. It, it just happened? Yeah, it was fun. It was, it was on Monday night at the Chinese, I think I'm still re- recovering from it. It was, uh, it was a y'all end up in the drunk tank, like, like you know, public. Uh, like, well, I'd I love think to get they a picture of that on New Year's, but yeah, did that on New Year's. What'd you do on New Year's? I had a pretty boring night. 
<laughs> it was uh, See, it sounds makes like him for and great radio, wife, but yeah. yeah it him was, and uh, his wife could hang out with us. It's exactly. fine. We have a nice quiet night. We stay in. We order food. You guys could like be a pinochle couple or something <laughs> yeah. like that. Play yeah. pinochle on Saturdays. It's pretty exciting. That's how I like it. Yeah. <laughs> nice and boring. So what's your plan for the rest of the day? <laughs> <laughs> you got big, big plans after this? <laughs> yeah, no, I'm just going to be biting my fingernails. Oh, I know. I, mean, I would. You, you probably have like a... Like a load of Pepto Bismol in you right now. Are you, are you going to the movie tonight? Like sneaking into the crowd? Yeah, I did that with Zombieland. Or, oh, I don't think it needs sunglasses. I just have my dreadlocks. But uh, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. So, uh, tonight, I think the uh, the I'll go to the Midnight Show. That's what I did for Zombieland. It's just really fun to see who's there and if you people get butterflies are, are into it. Yeah, no, I, yeah. all week. I've but you're probably like that person that I I can't stand to watch a movie with who's already seen the movie and they're always oh, like, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this, watch this. and you're like, I'm gonna, like, I'm here. Who's the guy in the front keeps looking around at well, everybody the best was uh for zombie land i would always go da- like th- i went around to a bunch of different theaters the night it opened and i would try and time it so i got there right around when the bill murray part was because watching audiences oh faces for that was the best thing and i'd go down to the front row and kind of just yeah stare <laughs> back at the audience i wouldn't even watch the movie i just watched the reactions of people when he gets shot because it was such like a unexpected thing and people can't believe it that literally like people like slap their knees like you don't believe people really slap their knees but yeah. they're like knee slapping it was it was really funny <laughs> well this movie is a little different i mean with the with the like- action movie as opposed to a comedy it doesn't play quite the same way with the audience but there are a surprising amount of laughs in this film like i think just my taste for comedy i couldn't uh resist like some some really funny moments mm-hmm. And so the movie for a gangster movie has I, I will I will make the argument that this is the fun, perhaps one of the funnier gangster movies out there. With the uh, Oscar nominations coming out this morning, and your movie being you know at midnight what tonight? Uh, yeah, I think so. I mean, did it does it cross your mind like thinking that? You know, maybe next time around, uh, this, this, I have a chance with this this movie. Is maybe. I, I I mean, for me, this movie is a real crowd-pleasing movie. It's I don't know if it's a necessarily an awards movie. What's but your choice? Best picture for this this time around? Have you seen the nominees? Uh, yeah. Um, I think it's hard to bet against Lincoln. I would just guess that given the amount of nominations they got, it seems like that's where, uh, that's where the, the heart of the Academy lies. I'm not a member, so... I wasn't invited to participate, but yep. you're going uh, with the director too on that. Since you're a director, you're going with Steven Spielberg. Uh, it's h- tough to bet against him. Um, Ang Lee, Life of Pi. Yeah, I love Ang Lee, and uh, I, I doubt he'll get it. But I was so pleased that that Ben Zeitlin got nominated for Beast of the Southern Wild. It's yeah, we were pretty, at, we were, we hadn't heard of that movie. Frank and I earlier we were talking about the Oscars, and he's like, "What's that about?" I hadn't even. heard it's of It's a it. really neat movie that was made for I think under a million bucks in New Orleans, and it's a really original, totally kind of trippy, uh, non-linear. It's kind of like All more atmospheric place. and. But the little girl who got nominated too is incredible, and it, who knows if they'll win? But I think it's really neat that such a small movie made completely independently can be competing with the likes of Spielberg. And this kid's like, he's in his twenties, and he's this is his first movie, so it's imagine a, like, oh, they spent under a million. Look at all the money we spent, and they're still it, here with us. Yeah, or look, like, you know, there's crazy. some. Well, you gotta pretty, be young. I mean, how, I mean, how old well, are you? I'm, I'm 38. I just look, oh, you're not that. Uh, young. It's my dreads. Like, <laughs> Easy. But uh, <laughs> but I think that uh, the uh, what took you so you know, long? Look, I can't believe it. <laughs> that uh, you know there are some notable people, directors, especially like Catherine Bigelow and Ben Affleck and Tom Hooper, who I was surprised didn't get nominated. Yeah. Well, thanks for coming in, man. Good My luck. pleasure. All thanks for having world. me. Yeah, We're fingers for crossed. Yeah. Raven Fleischer. Enjoy uh, the movie. Gangster Squad, go see it at midnight tonight. You just might see someone staring back at you from the front row. <laughs> That's right. All right, we're going to come right back. We are Heidi and Frank. Oh, that was just a little sample of the Heidi and Frank show on 95.5 KLOS. To get more samples like this and hear all the fun we have, you can do that at 955KLOS.com. Now, to get the show in its entirety, on demand, and if you want to watch the show, we webcast it every day. All you have to do is go to HeidiAndFrank.com and become a premium package member. Do it right now.